Hello and welcome everyone. As we get a lot of questions about the welder qualification, so we're going to give you a quick course consisting of a series of sessions about the welder qualification. And this course will talk about the welder qualification for fusion welding. We're going to use two references in our course, which is going to be the ASME code and the ISO code. The ASME code that, that we're going to use is for BPVC, which is Boiler and Pressure Vessels, code section 9, 2019 version. And also for the ISO code, we're going to use part 9606-1. To know that the ASME stands for American Society of Mechanical Engineering, and also the ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. We're using both of these references because the ASME code doesn't cover all the parts regarding our topic, so we had to refer to the ISO code to cover our topic from every aspect. And also we're going to give you a quick comparison between the points of view of each code. So we're going to compare between the point of view of the ASME code and also the ISO code. So first of all, let's start with the ASME code, section 9. It's an American national standard, which is generally for qualification standard for welding, brazing, fusing procedures. And it also talks about welders, brazers, and also talk about welding, brazing, and fusing operators. So it's basically for welders and how to qualify a welder. It consists of four main parts. Part QG, which is for general requirement, part QW, which is for welding, part QP, which is for brazing, and also part QF, which is for plastic fusing. Of course, we're going to focus on part QW, which is for welding. This part consists of five articles. Article number one, which is for welding general requirements, and article number two, which is for welding procedure qualifications, this part, uh, it lets you know how to make a WPS and also a, a BQR. So it's giving you how to apply welding procedures according to the ASME requirement. And then we have article number three, which is for welding performance qualifications. So it's giving you how to qualify the welder and the welding operator. Also, we have article number five for welding data. Article number, uh, I'm sorry, article number four for welding data and article number five for standard welding procedure specifications. To be able to perform a welding with the right procedure to give you a mechanical properties according to the ASME code. Of course, we're going to focus on article number three talking about welding performance qualification. Referring to the ISO code, we know that it's going to talk about qualification testing of weld. Uh, and fusing welding, showing us how to qualify a welder and how to test the welder. It contains five parts. Part number one for steel, part number two for aluminium and aluminium alloys, part number three for copper and copper alloys, part number four for nickel and nickel alloys, part number five for titanium and titanium alloys, and also for zirconium and zirconium alloys. We're going to focus on part 9606-1, which is part one talking about steels. And at the end, that was a quick introduction uh, for our course and our next session. We are going to start by the definitions. Thank you so much for listening and see you soon.